Welcome along to the Singapore night race where fittingly as we've entered darkness in this part of the world one degree north of the equator and 1600 bulbs illuminate the circuit one man in Formula One at the moment has stepped out of the shadows very much into the spotlight for the third race in a row Charles Leclerc starts on pole position And we're all set, waiting for the five lights to all be illuminated here in Singapore. It's lights out, away we go. It wasn't a hold for very long at the start. Leclerc gets away well, ahead of Hamilton and Vettel. And then on the inside, Alex Albon on Valtteri Bottas, making up a place at the start, maybe. That's Max Verstappen, ahead of Bottas, then comes Albon, and then Carlos Sainz as well. Vettel is really going for it with Hamilton. Carlos Sainz almost gets a little bit squirrely, coming out of turn three. Hamilton fighting Sebastian Vettel. Hamilton's going to be under pressure with the sheer speed of the Ferrari through the flat kink of turn six into the braking tone of Zern and he goes to the inside, he covers the apex of the corner, critical for Hamilton. The Ferrari speed is giving Lewis Hamilton a lot to think about, Vettel's coming back at him again, Hamilton defending for all his life on this opening lap, then Verstappen ahead of Valtteri Bottas and Alex Albon as well, look at that, Charles Leclerc flying out in front, you can't restrain him here in Singapore tonight. Hamilton got great drive on turn nine though and that gave him a bit of breathing space back to Vettel no DRS no rear wing opening for two laps after the start Danny Ricardo's already got past Russell and Grosjean and Kibitza as well right on board with Danny Ricardo who's now caught up to the back of Danny Kvyat he, he's not thinking about going slow at the moment he's got the bit between his teeth Ooh. and he wants to go for it at places you don't normally see cars getting past now we've seen Felipe Massa on the bridge get past Bruno Senna before can Danny Ricciardo do the same on Kvyat? no he can't oh. waiting in the back there to try and pick up some scraps his last stroll they nearly had to pick up scraps of carbon fibre and he somehow avoided going into the back of the Renault who's going to go down the inside of Danny Kvyat nicely done Stroll gets a good exit as well out of that turn and Kvyat's lost two places in one corner. Ricardo doesn't care who pays for the tyres, he's using his up. <laughs> <laughs> he's having a, he's having full value out of those medium compound tyres, isn't he? Oh, that's, that, that is absolutely brilliant. Here goes Perez on Danny Kvyat. Last lap, he lost two places at this corner. Uh, he might just lose a place here if Perez can get some decent traction. Out of turn 14, the corner's going to come up soon under braking. Perez dies down the inside. Hold. Nice. Perez is ahead of Danny Kvyat up into 14th place. In comes Charles Leclerc and in comes Max Verstappen. Oh, so Sebastian Vettel, not Leclerc. Verstappen nearly bounced back onto the racetrack. He got in so hot into that tight left hand into the pit lane. And away, that was a quick stop from Ferrari, wasn't it? Well, three seconds, he was uh, stationary. Verstappen, 2.3 seconds. So they, they gained seven tenths on Sebastian Vettel in that particular pit stop. So I think they're both coming in. They're not both coming in. Lewis Hamilton told over the team radio, opposite to Leclerc. So Mercedes are deciding they're going to stay out for at least one lap extra to see if that actually gets them ahead of Charles Leclerc. It'll be very close between Leclerc and Vettel. He had about a two and a half second advantage. Well, Sebastian Vettel was stationary for three seconds. Leclerc 2.4 seconds. That six tenths might just be what he needs. And here is a box opposite to Leclerc. Box opposite to Leclerc. Yeah, there's that radio message. Box opposite to Leclerc. Has Hamilton got enough life in those tyres to, to really hit hammer time? So close. And Look get at these two. Look at Vettel. these two. Well, Vettel's going to get ahead of Leclerc here, and he is. I thought he would. I don't think Vettel's pit stop was that slow. So, so, he's undercut him. It's his cost, uh, his cost track position for Leclerc, but not for Ferrari. And Leclerc really struggling to find grip on those hard compound tyres. Well, Leclerc, not... Leclerc's going to be fuming at that bit. As each lap goes on, there is less and less chance of Lewis Hamilton to be ahead of Sebastian Vettel and Charles Leclerc uh, when he's pitted. Bottas now pits. Hamilton stays out. It was a 47-3. Lewis Hamilton stops, Giovinazzi now leads the Singapore Grand Prix. Uh, Sebastian Vettel goes down the inside of Pierre Gasly, this could be contact. Gasly 
is forced off the track there as Sebastian Vettel was coming through, whether the Frenchman wanted it or not. And Vettel has put himself now up in the second place. Oh, and that could have been that could have been very, very bad for both drivers there. Gasly getting out of the way just in time. Uh, that looked like a, a fairly easy overtake, that one. Uh, Antonio didn't put up too much of a fight, the, uh, the Italian against the Ferrari. He's got to get past, of course, the Alfa Romeo first, and we're riding on board now with Alex Albon. Very nicely done uh, through turn five, and he's passed the uh, Alfa Romeo that has uh, been using the medium tyre for the entirety of this race, and he's trying to defend against Daniel Ricciardo, and they contact at turn seven, and Giovinazzi comes off worst. And you hope that there's no damage on either. Giovinazzi now has another Renault right behind him. And Lando Norris, who we haven't mentioned for quite a while, is running in 10th place. It's impressive if Ricardo hasn't got right rear puncture or damage. He, he has. has. He has. So Ricardo, in making the move, it got a little bit too close for Giovinazzi. And he's now dropping back down the field as well, which is a huge shame for a man who's put up some brilliant overtakes so far this afternoon. But he just sees a gap and he goes through it. That's what Ricardo does. As we talk about the potential for a safety car, we have a Williams in the wall, and I think that could be George Russell. It is George Russell. So, Ferrari trying to build a safety car gap. They have not done that. They're not far enough ahead of what's happened. Grosjean and Williams. Uh, Grosjean and Russell tangling. Uh, Russell gets tagged by Grosjean and sent into the wall. It has to be, for me, at least a virtual safety car or full safety car. Lots of debris on the track. Have to clean that up. You do it. Yeah, copy. Oh, I shouldn't be surprised. Sorry, guys. George Russell not happy with Roman Grosjean. We go racing once more here in Singapore. And uh, he's got uh, just. Oh, it's a big look up there by Lance Stroll. And he's got Antonio Giovinazzi with him, and he's got puncture. damage, he's got a puncher, has Lance Stroll. Involved in a few battles there, first with Gasly, and then with Raikkonen, and on the restart, Stroll's got a puncher, and he's limping home. I got a puncher. Box this lap, box this lap. I wonder, if he, I wonder if he hit the wall, because when he banged with Gasly, Martin, it was on the other side of the car. And I wonder if Lance Stroll has hit the wall here, and that's why he's got that puncture. Could all go for it now. Sergio Perez, what's happened to the racing point? Perez going very slowly indeed, and this looks like mechanical trouble for the Mexican. As one racing point car? hits the wall and suffers a puncture, two laps later, the other racing point slows down and comes to a stop. Safety and Leclerc, car. we have got a safety car. Over the line and into the first corner we go. And down the inside goes Danny Ricciardo on uh, Daniel Kvyat. And has he, by the time they get to the chicane, run out of room? Yes, he has. And Roman Grosjean might say thank you very much here as well as we head over the Anderson Bridge. Grosjean on the outside, Ricciardo on the inside. Ricciardo pushes Grosjean a little bit wide. They make contact, but Grosjean manages to get through. Here's Kevin Magnussen and Pierre Gasly going into turn 14. Gasly's ahead. Hulkenberg's ahead, Magnussen's lost two places in one corner. Happened to Danny Kvyat a bit earlier on. Carlos Sainz now racing with Danny Ricciardo, and Sainz has got ahead of Ricciardo with Lance Stroll right behind the Australian. Bold overtaking the turn 10s, cost Ricciardo three places in the end. It's Kimi Raikkonen's under pressure once again from Kvyat. Kvyat's going to have a go into turn one. Oh dear. Broken suspension. That is Kimi Raikkonen out of the Grand Prix. Danny Kriak got it all wrong, braking and arriving from late. Is that another safety car yeah, in this race? Without question, he's right in the firing line with uh, one wheel pointing in the wrong direction. There's a right old scrap going on behind there. Roman Grosjean with Carlos Sainz right behind him.
Sebastian Vettel then continues on his way, leading for Ferrari, who, remember, won the last two races through Charles Leclerc and who haven't taken three consecutive race wins since 2008. It's been a long time coming for Ferrari. It's been a long time coming for Sebastian Vettel. For the first time in 2019, Sebastian Vettel takes the chequered flag and wins the Singapore Grand Prix. And a win that, unlike in Canada, will stand this time around. Well done, Sam. Yes, Sebastian. We won. Nice job. One and two for Ferrari. Awesome job. Well managed. What's significant here, Crofty, is they've just won three straight races on three completely different types of racetrack. Exactly. They're, they're really back in business. And Ferrari are coming on strong in the second part of this season. Charles Leclerc had led the challenge. Tonight, though, in Singapore, the winning smile is on the face of Sebastian Vettel, back on top of the podium for the first time since Belgium last year. It's good to see him back. So strong enough.